Clarkson is relatively close to Syracuse, and my director in C-STEP from OCC, um, they had partnership with the C-STEP director here. The student-teacher ratio was a good mix. The classes are relatively geared towards um, what I'm doing in this research. We're trying to use Bluetooth low energy to detect and track a moving target indoors. Um, it's something like internal GPS. We chose Bluetooth low energy versus traditional Bluetooth because it is much cheaper and it is, um, it's, less en it's more energy efficient. We take a picture of a track, basically a, a two-dimensional track which we set up on a board. Anchor one will pick up, will have a signal strength of right there. Anchor two will have right there. And based on the difference in distances, where it intersects, we'll be able to tell that the cart is somewhere within the circle. So, but because we know that the cart is on the track, it, the computer are gonna, is going to read that it is somewhere in here. Okay. But we will physically put it up or down based off where it is on the track. What we used for the transmitter was one of the Bluetooth um, headphones. Then these were actually cell phones. If it was a three-dimensional track now, we would need at least four anchors. Key problems that we realized is that Bluetooth low energy is not linear. It doesn't decrease linearly with distance. That's where we're stuck on this portion of the, of the problem. Like we want to see the cart moving in real time.